Welcome back to Let's Play DDO Pamadef. Alright, I am going to do the Sentinels chain this time. I've just been looking at the various uh, quests remaining to do at level 7. And this seems like a decent uh, one to get out of the way. Yes, I've just been looking at what's remaining to do at level 7 and uh, picking which quests I want to do now as opposed to ones that I'd rather come back and do Elite later. House Defavor is not terribly useful, so I'm pretty happy to uh, just do the chain on hard. Most of the stuff remaining at level 7 is stuff that has some kind of unavoidable traps in it uh, somewhere along the way, which uh, I therefore won't do on Elite. Let's say Sentinels contains some non disarmable traps in the final part. Now the other things to do at level 7 are... Let's see, there's uh, Grave Rubber, which has the really nasty Force Trap at the start. Hopefully I can do that hard, but... I certainly won't be uh, going past that opening trap on Elite. Ok, there's a shrine before the quest here, so I can afford to buff. Yes, there's the the end of Greymoon, which uh, has the really nasty force trap on the bridge, which can't be disarmed from, this, from the side you arrive at, so that's definitely going to be on hard. Gwynland's might be possible elite, but not. I won't necessarily... Um, It'll be a tough one to do elite at level, so I won't mind if I run out of uh, XP at level 9 and have to take level 10 before I do it. <laughs> Tier of Dakan is a quest that I really want to do on elite if at all possible, since uh, House K favor is extremely valuable. So that one I may well leave till I'm slightly higher level, since I there's no way I actually have enough XP left at level 10 to fit in all of the level 7 quests. I may as well leave the uh, ones that I intend to do elite. Or the harder ones, anyway. So, uh, Sentinels I plan to do on hard, but it's really easy, so that's a good one to do first. I suppose I may as well get the... Uh, Explorer while I'm here. This river flows through Searing Heights and into Storm Age Harbor. Yeah, Sentinels will be easy on hard. And together with the uh, Searing Heights Explorer's XP, that might be enough to get me to level 10. Or force me to take level 10, since I will have run out of XP. Because I only have about 40,000 XP to go until I have to take level 10, so... So I'll probably get there with Searing Heights Explorers and the Sentinels Chain, and maybe one or two other quests. Uh. 
Anytime you want to uh, start fighting dog, feel free. of water in the distance. All right, time for the quest. Yes, my hope would be to do Grey Moon and the Sentinel's Chain and the Searing Heights Explorers, and that should finish off level... Uh, Finish off level 9 for me. The other reason we're doing this chain on hard, although it's one that we often do elite in groups for permadeath, it is one where there's a reasonable chance of dying in several of the quests. Um, by this time, there's usually someone who can raise if you're in a group, but. Uh, Playing solo. I know this uh, first quest is very tough. I've died in here on a non permadeath char character once. The kobold dashes off the instant you approach. It looks like the blood tide is expecting your arrival. <laughs> Yes, the, uh, the spellcasters in this chain do a fair amount of harm as well. It is this next fight and the traps that are the main problems, though. Shoppers scatter as a group of murderous pirates attack.
Yes, those blood tide skirmishes do pretty nice damage. They're cutting through my ablative armor very fast. Assassination Destroying the assassination logbook, you've saved countless people from the blood tide. Okay, this bit can be tricky too, once you get There's quite a few spellcasters around here. They're usually, um, usually more spellcasters in this spot, I thought. Maybe that's only on Elite.
Okay, there's a trap over here somewhere. Right, time to drop down, I think. This plaza is normally packed with shoppers buying expensive goods, but today it is the site of blood and battle. Yes, dog, that's where we're going next. Hmm. Hasn't the reef gone missing from this place? Wait, what is my pet up to? Wow, my pet raised himself without me doing anything. I didn't know he could do that. He raised himself almost standing in a trap, but... Maybe that one is not disarmable.
down by the water and spot the house Denise scouts you were sent to me. The chains and shackles here show that you are very near to the slave mother. Okay. This slave market is where the blood tide sells its most profitable product. Ouch. Uh, no trap boxes, that's a pity. Alright, all done by the end fight. Uh, hang on, I still have a slave left. You've stopped the blood tide from selling these unfortunate souls into slavery. Looks like I'm getting about 5,000 XP per quest for this chain. So that will be 20,000 for this chain. And the XP cap for this level is 55... is uh, 550,000. So I'll need another... 20k thereabouts from other quests and the explorer area. I may as well shrine, just for hit points.
charges towards you. Could this be the general manager? Bazaar is in tatter. The local merchants will no longer face competition from the blood tide. All right, that went smoothly. That uh, final cobalt was reasonably tough. One thousand hit points. That's uh, not a bad suit of armor. It's a pity I don't have any other mod fourth items. Alright. See you in the next video.